day eight on the Penhody Trail. Right, pretty nice night. You know, the this thing is solid, so it's it's not the most comfortable sleep on my thin little pad, but hey, I'm not frozen. Well, unfortunately, weather is coming in, so it should rain tonight and then maybe tomorrow as well. And then it's going to drop down into freezing for a few days or slightly below freezing. But and then all next week is a 50% chance or higher of raining. So Cool Breeze is going to jump into town and stay at a hostel for a few days. But I think I'm just going to keep carrying on. I'm, I'm going to get wet. It's going to happen. I did order a new hammock and um, rain fly last night. I didn't want to, but if I want to be comfortable out here, I, I really need it. So I did that. I didn't buy an under quilt because that's another 300 bucks, man. That's just a whole lot for a freaking quilt. So I'm just going to stick with my little pad and freeze my butt off. And that's what I'm going to do, unless I find something better. But that's how, I, that's how it goes. All right, so I could be into town tonight if I really pushed it hard, but I'm not going to, more than likely. More than likely, I'm going to take my time and get into town tomorrow. And take my time waking up because it's supposed to rain all night, according to the thing. You know, on and off all night. So I'm not going to be night crawling tomorrow, especially in freezing rain. Unfortunately, my hammock sucks, so if the rain comes in an angle, I'm totally soaked anyway. It doesn't have doors on the on the rain fly. That's what I really want. Block the wind and the rain coming in from an angle. Other than that, you just have to hope that the trees you set up with, set up on, set you up at the perfect angle to block the rain. Oh, what are the likelihood? What's the likelihood of that happening? Nil. So I'm putting doors on my on my rain fly. It only makes sense. They should all come with doors, man. Anyway, finishing up my coffee and we'll head on out. And we're finally off. It took me a while. It's a little after five. My shelter, the roof is totally growing. I don't know if that's good or bad for a roof. Does it add waterproofing? Or does, does the plant life get in between all of your boards and let water leak through? That's what I think would happen. It is really pleasant right now. Like there's a breeze going on. I can see stars. It is not cold by any means. I wouldn't even call this chilly. I'm overdressed. That's all good change, but hey, is what it is. I mean, in most of those days next week are coin tosses on whether it rains or not. I'll take a coin toss. And they're in the upper 60s, you know, as far as the high. A couple of days do drop below freezing just a little bit. And yeah, that's going to suck. But I've learned to embrace this suck. Oh, am I on trail or am I still walking back to the trail? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I might have to look at the map, because I know I hit the trail and take a right. But did I just jump on the trail and like take a left and not even think about it? I don't know. Feels like I've gone too far. Nah, I'm good. I have not hit the trail yet. Oh, I think I see our first place. Yep. Okay, so we're taking a right. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be raining overnight. And I am not leaving my hammock. There's the pitter-patter of rain going on outside. I'm gonna bring extra water in with me so I can make extra pots of coffee. If you're gonna be stuck there, you might as well do drugs. Coffee is a drug. Oh, you get the feeling like you're, you know, out in the woods. Why not? And then you come over a hill and you see all that. And you're like, no, no, I guess I'm, I'm not in the woods. I'm city adjacent.
You could hear it. I don't know what I'm hearing. Highway. There's a low rumble of a train, but I haven't heard a train horn in a minute. That washed out white photo is just a photo of these lights right out there. I turned my headlamp off and took a picture. Curious what would show up. And just white. Of course we got spider eyes everywhere. But with this many leaves and in the south. Yeah, they're going to be looking back at you. Since the majority of these are generally wolf spiders, they've got rather good eyesight. As good as a cat. So they see me walking by. These woods were lifeless. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. I'd be able to hear anything that was moving. Everything's covered in dead leaves. Where have all the animals gone? Did we eat them all? Single set of eyeballs yet. No weird turds on the trail. No nothing, man. Definitely looking for a spot to do a wardrobe change. Even though I only came out with my um, Amazon hoodie on. And you know, the, the subsequent layers underneath. I do wear my compression shirt and my hiking shirt almost all the time. It has to be hot before I lose the compression shirt or, or sometimes the hiking shirt. The other day I just decided to take off the hiking shirt because the compression shirt was so soaked. I had nowhere to keep it. Even on the outside of my bag, I was like, ew, that's gross. I think it was pretty nasty, so I figured I'd just keep wearing it. And not get my good shirt as dirty looking. So far, it doesn't look gross. It hasn't looked gross, but, you know, I've only been out here for a week. Let that thing see some, some miles, and we'll see what she looks like. Right now, I think I still look rather snazzy in it shiny it's got a nice collar on it i'd pick me up on the side of the road look at that young strapping man wearing pants i think pants probably help too the weird guy in the big mad max looking kilt probably more reluctant to pick him up okay let's see how that works man took off a few layers there I even, for the first time probably ever, um, took off the bad hat while it was still dark. That just never happens, but that thing's really warm, really, really warm. And it protects your ears from mosquitoes. Not that they're, they're, they're an issue yet. I did have to murder one last night in the shelter. It kept coming down by my ears. So I was like, fuck you, I will hunt you down. And I did. But only one. They're not so bad in small numbers. It's just when you have, I mean, when you're in a constant cloud of them, there's just no joy. I 
I will just hide in my hammock for two solid weeks and wait them out. You have to get quick at setting that thing up, so on breaks I can just set my hammock up real quick and just boom, in it. Not all the comforts and whatnot, just set the hammock up at the bug net real quick. Like I'm eating lunch in here. Pretty sure a lot of that is smoke. It's the point where it's just bright enough to see everything. Oh, my eyes actually see a little better than the camera. Okay, there. Eventually the bird noise will be deafening. I heard a whipper whirl, whirl off in the distance and I was excited to hear one. Normally they're just really annoying. But I thought, hey, a bird. That night, kind of exciting. <clears throat> this trail doesn't have the birds that sleep on the actual trail, does it? That's kind of more of a west coast thing. Or west of the Mississippi, at least. I don't remember birds sleeping on the trail out here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow, I kicked something. Should have been wearing my safety shoes. Oh, I don't know if that picked up on camera, but my stomach just growled really loudly. Rummage through my pocket and see what I got. I don't know how long they were singing for. I was walking, just enjoying their song. I thought, oh, hey, I'm listening to bird song. Okay, that's how mornings are supposed to be. Come around the corner. And we have what I presume are the next hills I'm going to climb. After this one. I see city on the other side of that hill. Hard leaves moving. I'm guessing that's duck. We're checking it out. Definitely has a foul kind of sound to it. But I heard the leaves move. I thought maybe it was a decent sized animal. But if it was, it froze. But more than likely, it was like a branch falling into the leaves or something. hear it. I just haven't seen it yet. It's a very narrow waterway. Not much going on, but it's it's noisy. See by how the leaves are all piled up. She flowed strong the other night. And then down steps. I bet the trail crosses it down there again. I'm just gonna slip and slide down. Where are we at? Oh man, that's a bunch of numbers and letters going on. For service road. What's CR stand for again? I don't know. County road. There we go. County road. For service. No, that means anything to me. Well, except the top one. I do need to figure out some bailout points just in case things get hairy. But for the most part, I'm... I don't believe it's going to be a storm like it was the other day. Hope not. 
if I find myself in town, hey, cool. But I'm not going to try to plan my hike around rain. Possible rain, you know. When it's impen impending rain? Impending? That sounds about right, doesn't it? Anyway, when rain is, is going to happen, and I can look up in the sky and say, yes, water will be falling soon. I got no problem hiding. Something is convenient and available. Impending. Yeah, that's right. Don't know why it just doesn't feel right coming out of my mouth. But I'm not going to days in advance be like, oh, there's a really good chance it's going to rain. I'm going to call some people and set some stuff up. Because it's going to rain a lot out here. I'm in the south, man. <laughs> this is a wet ass place in my well from where I'm from. Anyway. Everybody loves shooting signs. Take that sign. All super close range with your shotgun. Photos just don't really capture sunlight coming through those red, I don't know if they're leaves or are they buds or are they dead alive, I'm not sure. But I like the way the sunlight's coming through. Looks like we lost a small part of the trail here. The tree fell over. We took a big chunk of the trail with it. Guess that happens from time to time, huh? <laughs> this one's next. Oh, this is lovely. Before I just pass it on, I should probably check where my next water is. Oh, fresh footprint. See if it's going the other way, though. Oh, is that a toe? You don't get to see many footprints around here because all the leaves. So I don't know who's around. So scanning ahead looking for water and I see comments about things that are ankle deep and stuff like that. But I'm going around updating the comments because a lot of these are more than a year old. It's not a very popular trail. So, you know, if there's comments that are more than a year old and the, and the situation has changed, I got no problem updating. Just a few words. Just in case a few more people do this trail this year. I have to assume they will. All right, this is one big tree that fell. You can see that they, you know, used chainsaws by the multiple cuts to get through quite a long time ago, right? Except this one. This one, for whatever reason, they didn't cut until recently. I think you can still see the sawdust. There's the piece. Is that weird? Why did they not cut that one? They're like, no, they can just, like, go under this, but that's pretty low. That's strange. I don't understand the logic in that one. But I appreciate you cutting it on this one. I didn't want to have to get on my hands and knees to go under that. Or take my pack off. Oh, that's always dreaded. Take the pack off to get under something. Is 
that a huge wasp nest? Is that what I'm seeing? Shoving off. Seems pretty abandoned, but look at the size of that thing. Let's get a closer look and get hurt. Turns out it's not abandoned. Huge. Well, it looks like I gotta get my feet wet. So that makes this a good time to take a break. I'm gonna cross, hopefully, over there somewhere nice to kick back. Regardless, that's what I'm doing. Filter some water, all that fun stuff. This is nice. It's only ankle deep. It's cool and refreshing. It's probably really good for my feet. It's not painfully cold. It's a little deeper over here. I bet it gets all the way to like thigh. We got the water filter and a nice little log to sit on. It is indeed time for a safety meeting. Sun is shining. It's a gorgeous day all around. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a stormy night, does it? Oh, how things change. We'll see, we'll see. Finally, my burning question has been answered. I've been, I've been asking myself, why are there buttons right here? What did they do? You know, I, I couldn't really figure it out. And, and then when I just hiked my pants up, just crossed the little river, this thing popped out. And I was like, oh, it's like those things like that button. It took me a while to figure out what it did. But when I roll up my sleeve, one of them little things pops out just in case you don't know how to roll your shit up and you need to button it. I had no idea those were there. That's kind of unnecessary. Especially when these things have zippers on them. I mean, if I wanted to, I could totally unzip my pants right, right here. But I figured it was just easier for this to just kind of roll them up. This is for fashion, right? All like looped around your stuff all nice. You spent time rolling it up because, you know, the ladies were coming along and they like some freshly rolled pants. They've told me so. Not as I'm all packed up and ready to go. Well, I gotta put my shoes on. I mean, put them on my backpack, not on my feet. I got my shoes on. But Cool Breeze shows up. He's on the other side. So I'll give him a minute to come over, chat him up, see what's up with his day. I think he's jumping into town tonight. I don't think that's my plan. He decided to take his break on the other side of the river. I always cross first so my feet have time to dry before I put my shoes back on. But I didn't feel like yelling across a little river to have a conversation. So I was like, yeah, I'll see you at the next spot, man. Saw that mark on the tree and it made me think. Still no signs of hatchet man. Does he exist on the AT? The Tin Hody? I don't remember seeing his any of his signs on the AT, but I didn't really notice those marks until the PCT. And I was like, who is cutting all these trees? Now the holes in this tree aren't necessarily natural, right? Those are done by like birds, hiding seeds or something. But damn, just all the way up is just filled with them. Or is that just the way this thing grows? I think they're put there.
according to my map, I'm not on trail. I'm on a dotted line. But according to that and that, I am on trail. Yeah, I'm sticking with the blazes. But is there really the other trail? No, because it'd be up in there. Aside for the poor fools who are trying to find that. I've been that person. Trying to find a red line that does not exist. Remember <laughs> the one time I followed a county line on a map? I thought it was a road, but it was just a county line. These things happen. Wow, man, I have never seen this before. It's like it's the tree's spine, man, it's nervous system or something. They can feel, they just can't scream. Wow, man, this is really cool. Downhill on pine needles, like spongy goodness. That's where it gets to the feet. I can't go a few miles of this. Low impact hiking. Very cool breeze just shot by me, but you he's got six miles to do till the road that he has a ride out on. I don't know if they have a schedule set up or anything, but he seemed like a man on a mission. I'm not gonna bust my hump for six miles. I actually thought he was at least a good half mile behind me. I'm surprised to see him pass.
I had to cross a little highway. Not big. Nice. You know, it is a little early for lunch, but this is a pretty damn nice spot. I bet the brave locals jump off of that into the water. Mm. I'm gonna sit on one of these rocks, soak my feet, and eat a tuna packet. Sounds like fun. Leon Smith? Leonis? <laughs> I don't know. There's a nest over there, so that throws me off. How much time it take to carve your name into a rock? That happened before the internet existed. Now we get the internet, we have better things to do than carve our name into big rocks. Oh, cute, look at that, we have a little bridge. Ain't that nice of them. Looks like it's made out of somebody's fence posts. Oh, damn. Feels like it's made out of somebody's fence post. But I appreciate it. You can support me. I feel spoiled, you know. You know, that does look kind of like the other end of the fence posts. Like that was the top, these are the bottoms. Just saying, uh, repurpose stuff. I like it. I do that a lot. I like building junk out of junk. Uh oh. Okay, I was telling them to turn, so that probably means up here. Oh, I do see a blue blaze. Okay, cool. What's this all about? You. I wonder why they destroyed it. <laughs> that thing was all there. Drew my attention. Hey, look at that. Did we hit 100 miles? What? Dun, 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 dun. That was easy. Nice barrel of industrial waste next to the water supply. It's been there for years, it can't hurt you anymore. Oh yeah, there were waterfall symbols on the map. I've never seen those before. So I saw them and I had to click on them. Guessing this would be one of them. Trip on this oh, way down. Real 
like a boss. <laughs> If I wanted to get into some sort of town, I could do it in two miles if I wanted. That's where Cool Breeze is getting off. But I think the town, I want to say it was called Heflin. It isn't too much further down the way, like a tomorrow kind of thing. That works for me. That's where I initially was planning on going, so I might as well keep going to there. I bet he's already at the road by now. I've been taking breaks and dallying. I do seem like he's on a mission. But you want to get to town kind of early so you can get food and, you know, laundry room, all that fun stuff. Test them first. Walk on that all confident. You're going down. <laughs> yeah, we're going for the rocks. I think people have fallen for that. The old wobbly log trick. Didn't expect him to still be here. His ride must be taking a sweet ass time. So Cool Breeze is going to be taking a zero. He has a hostel coming to get him. He's not even going to a, a town per se, just a hostel. And Heflin, the town I'm going to, is actually only nine miles from here. If I pushed it real hard, I could be there tonight. But I have no intentions. Maybe do a few more miles today and get myself in line for a possible breakfast. I don't see any breakfasty places on the gut hook map, but it's a town. It should have some breakfast. Nine miles, that's not far at all. Even if it is raining. Well, that's nine minus everything I'm doing right now. And if things are horrible, I'll just hang out in that town for a day. Hide, do my usual thing, you know. Figure it out. I can't be staying at hostels every time it rains. I'm gonna be out here for a long time. That's a chameleon right there. I saw his little uh, fan that comes out under his neck. He did some push-ups and the fan came out. It's only a mile and a half to a campsite that seems decent via the comments. We'll check it out see what it, if it works for us. Pretty easy to please. I grabbed water, I only filtered a liter and a half, and then I just scooped up more and I'm carrying it with me. My filter runs very slow and I didn't feel like sitting there any longer. So I figured if the campsite was decent, just in case it doesn't have water, and a big storm does come, I want to be able to sit there and just you know, cook and make coffee and stuff. I didn't eat dinner last night, so I have an extra dinner now. Pass 
possibilities are endless, man. Doesn't seem like it's gonna storm, but it always seems like it's not gonna storm right before it storms. That's how storms work. Well, I believe this is where I'm camping. It's kind of early. It's only a little after four. I could definitely push further. But there's a lot of roads coming up. And I'm only seven miles from town. I don't know if it's you know, going to be raining and I'm going to get a really late start or any of that stuff. Look at that. There's, well, I wouldn't sit on most of those. I'll sit on part of them. They all collapse in and whatnot. I don't know what the safest way to get down there is. Yeah, this looks like a decent spot to hide out. It's in a valley, so if there is any, you know, high winds or anything from the storm, I should be semi-sheltered. Instead of being up on a ridge or something. Kind of unfortunate that I carried water all this way. There is ample water here. But it is what it is. I'd rather have it. Way to hang a hammock. It's looking pretty good over here. Can you see it? Done so well. Never even notice it if it didn't move. And for dinner tonight, I uh, have top shelf. We're going Spanish rice. A little bit of white meat chicken and a half of a ramen, but all of the little bit dried vegetables that come with it. Water is ready to go. I'm sitting out there trying to edit, but all of a sudden skeeters came out. Enough of them, I mean, not a swarm or anything, but more than enough to drive me off. So I'm laying in my hammock. I'm like, I'm not going to edit in here, man. I'm falling asleep already. <sighs> Hard work this is. Make it look easy. <laughs> Laying around in my hammock. Yeah. Okay, let's see what tomorrow brings or tonight. Let's see what the storm of the century is about. See if I sleep through it. See you in the morning.